you have uh, you've been in some level of trouble because of, of views, uh, not because of anything you've done in terms of academic misconduct or anything like that, but because of uh, views you've expressed on race and and and, ar and arguments that race uh, could be linked to intelligence in some kind of biological sense. So I completely defend your, your freedom of inquiry. I would stand up with you and sign any petition if people were trying to vilify you. I think it's absurd. We can't go after people for- You would sign the, the pro Kafka. Yeah, 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 100%. Come mm -hmm. on, yeah. I wouldn't be platforming you if I were that time. But- I will challenge you on this on this point, and I, I think you'd run rings around me if we talked about the actual um, argument. I mean, my, I'll... so this is the crazy, crazy thing that we live in. A channel with three hundred twenty subscribers. Okay, I've got channels with like six thousand subscribers or two thousand subscribers. Right, when you have someone on and you've got three hundred subscribers, you're platforming them. Right, this idea that that history speaks is platforming Nathan Kofnis because he's got a, a channel with three hundred subscribers seems seems a tad stretched to me. But that is the way this is talked about, to even have people on with, with dissident views, right? You're platforming them is is the left wing and the, the centrist critique, right? It's it's an attempt to try to you know narrow the Overton window of the type of people that you can talk to. I'll just give you my a priori position, and I admit I'm politically biased, like I don't want these claims. Of Okay, so if you're doing an interview, there's no need to give your a priori position, right? There, there's no need to frame things in a moral way, there's no need to begin questions with, with stating your own feelings about a topic, particularly when you don't know anything about the topic. All right, Matt here from History Speaks knows virtually nothing about the topic, but yet he feels the necessity of stating his opinion before someone who knows a great deal about the topic. And earlier in the interview, he talked about moral realism with, with Kaufness, a, a PhD in philosophy, right? And you know, Matt doesn't, you know, doesn't have anywhere near the standing that Kofnis does in the field of, of philosophy. So it's ridiculous when you effectively know virtually nothing compared to the person you're talking about, and yet you're taking up, you know, all sorts of time and diminishing the vibe of an interview to give your ill-informed opinion. The biological differences that are relevant to intellect.